For me to tell the story, I must take you back 20 years ago to the day. August 8th, 2000. It seemed like a normal Tuesday for the residents of Beckley, West Virginia. Only, it wasn't normal. It was the day 10-year-old Natasha Alexandria Carter, or Alex, was last heard or seen from again. <laughs> prior to her disappearance, her parents, Susan Gale Carter and Ricky Lafferty, were going through an intense custody battle. Blogs such as Crime Blogger 1983 state, according to Alex's grandmother, she was afraid of her mother and didn't want to live with her. This holds true according to the document written by school counselor Linda G. Phillips on February 25th. 2000, five months before Alex vanished. The document describes how the court granted custody to Susan over Ricky. Ricky was on his way to pick up Alex from school when the court granted this. He decided it would be helpful to the situation to not be there when Susan arrived to avoid contention. Susan arrived at Pineville grade school along with her husband, who is not named, to pick up her daughter and began discussing legal documents regarding the custody case with present-day city commissioner. Randall Alif. Alex was shocked and pale to see her mother there. The elementary school counselor took Alex into the principal's office to further explain the situation and how she would be living with her mother. Alex was very comfortable with the counselor and cried when she realized the situation. When her mother came into the room, Alex was uncomfortable and adamant that she was not going with her, told her mother to not touch her belongings, and cried even more. The document was sent to Child Protective Services a month after this incident. Susan stated to Ricky the last time they spoke that he would never see his daughter again. After that, she was never heard from again. So, what could have happened? Well, there's a few theories out there. Let's start with the most likely. Susan abducted Alex. It is widely believed that her mother kidnapped her and left the state. When Susan initially vanished with her daughter, her family did not report her missing, nor her husband at the time. To me, that sounds very planned, almost as if they knew she was leaving, so they did not report the disappearance. A felony warrant for kidnapping was issued for Susan on November 13, 2000. It is speculated that she left the state with an unnamed male and changed her appearance, possibly to start a new life, and she goes by the name Susan Gale Webb or Susan Gale Carter Webb. If anyone watching this has seen this woman, please report it to West Virginia State Police at 304-746-2100. Another possibility in this case is the city commissioner had something to do with it. While finding out information on this case, I stumbled upon a comment on Facebook made by Ricky Lafferty himself regarding his daughter's disappearance. Quote, Larry will never admit it, nor will Randall. And he goes on to say, I can't even imagine what sort of sick and twisted man would be a party to this evil. Now, through his deceptions and outward facade, he had gained another position of public trust. I was curious who this Randall he was referring to. He was referring to none other city commissioner, Randall Alif, the same person Susan was discussing the custody case with five months prior to Alex's disappearance. I tried to find more information on this, but only came across another comment by Alex's father that reads, I will never understand why the prosecutor's office never even looked into Randall Alif's involvement with the disappearance of my 10-year-old baby girl, Natasha Alexandria Carter, when the last time I ever saw her with Randall and Kay and Zamiya and Larry Webb, known drug dealer and white supremacist. What say you, Mr. Prosecutor? Missing 18 years and never a word from there, and when I would ask about her, would be hurried out of the prosecutor's office with a bum's rush. Additionally, I found this on his Twitter. 19 years ago, my daughter was kidnapped out of her school by a law enforcement officer, never to be seen again. Does anyone know where I can go to get justice for Natasha Alexandria Carter? Alex? 
Other than that, I couldn't find any documentation or case files that prove these claims by the father. Could these accusations be true? Possibly. It could be a larger cover-up than we think. I have more questions than answers with this case. The main question being, where is Natasha Alexandria Carter? If you have any information on this case or have seen this girl, please contact West Virginia State Police at 304-746-2100.